organizing our clothing has impacted the amount of time I spend doing laundry. In fact, embracing minimalism altogether has meant that I spend less time doing chores. I spend less time maintaining stuff and taking care of stuff in the house in general. Simply having fewer clothes means I spend less time doing laundry altogether. I know people ask like, well, how is that even possible? Wouldn't you be spending more time washing more loads because you have to do it more frequently? But that's not how it works. Even though I'm doing it more often, I spend less time doing it because I don't wait for a massive pile to accumulate before doing the laundry and then have to deal with all the laundry, just this huge amount of excess. And when things are done consistently, it takes less time to do them. This is the same with our dishes. I don't actually spend more time doing dishes even though I do them more often than I used to. When you let things pile up, it just creates more, more work. Like if you leave the dishes in the sink for two days, then they have to soak and be scrubbed. If you wash them immediately, everything comes off easily. Uh, it's the same with our laundry. If we let our laundry sit for days, then we have to do stain treatments. We have to like, it's just more work. And if you leave clean laundry sitting for days, then they, the wrinkles get like embedded into the fabric. So if you don't believe me, then I invite you to time yourself. That is what I did. I timed myself. How much time did it take me to do laundry? And I found it was like, gosh, I don't remember now because it was quite a while ago when I timed myself. I think it was four minutes a day, maybe. So when I time myself, I count the time I'm actually touching the laundry. And that would be when I'm loading the washer, when I'm loading the dryer, when I'm removing it from the dryer, when I'm sorting it and folding it and putting it away. And if you do it consistently, if you wash a load every day, if you have less stuff, it's just such a minimal amount of time that we end up spending on laundry. Um, you know, I don't know, a couple of weeks of, of buildup before I did anything. And then I would, I would just spend, gosh, there was just so much time to do the laundry. The pile was so big in front of the washer that I climbed on top of the pile to load the washer. And then I didn't like folding it either. So the clean clothes would end up on the couch and I, I called it my laundry couch and I didn't fold the clothes. Instead, they just stayed there all the time. That's when we needed new clothes, clean clothes, we'd go to the couch and pull it off the couch. I also wasn't good at picking up after myself or teaching the kids to pick up after themselves. So there was, you know, dirty laundry and half used laundry all over the floors and all of the rooms. And so piles in front of the washer, piles on the couch, piles all over the rooms. It felt like my life was consumed with laundry. Uh, we had enough clothes to last for several weeks and <laughs> It was a lot, it was a lot. Seeing all the piles of laundry always made me feel like a failure because you know, after all, laundry is a fairly easy task. And yet here I was unable to manage it. And it made me feel like crap all the time. Reducing the amount of clothing we had forced me into being more consistent with doing the laundry. I had to do the laundry at least every week or we wouldn't have clothes to wear. And that's what I need. That's what I need to be consistent. Minimalism is, is my, my tool to help me be consistent because if I have an abundance of stuff, then I will just procrastinate and, and avoid doing it and it'll pile up and it'll make me feel bad. Because there aren't so many things, then I can wash, fold, and put away because the dressers and the closets aren't full of stuff. They're not packed full of so much that, that I'm not able to fit anything else in. So I can put it away quite easily and that makes the whole process easier. I mean, before I didn't have room. I had so much clothes that, that the dressers 
were packed. There wasn't enough room to fit all the clean clothes in them. So, you know, what was the point in putting them all away after you folded them? Because you couldn't. <laughs> and anyway, it was just all, it was just all a mess. And minimalism, simplifying all the clothes, decluttering all the excess, streamlined that whole process. Before we get into the tips of the, the laundry tips that I have, because I have quite a few of them, but I want to talk about the fact that I am folding clothes on the floor. I know this bothers some people and I get it. You think the floor is dirty, but here's the deal. We have dogs. They're not the type of dogs that shed. They, Janie's a, schnau a mini schnauzer, Snowy's a West Highland Terrier. So Snowy sheds slightly from his undercoat. Um, it's very minimal, but it sticks to the couch. The couch is like a magnet for those fine little hairs that he has. And since it's not normal dog hair, it does not come off with rubber gloves and all the different things that people have told me to do. I have to vacuum it. It just, that's what it is. So if I were to fold the clothes on the couch, for one, I could probably fall into the habit of leaving it on the couch. And for two, the couch is much hairier than the actual floor. The floor gets swept regularly. It's not that dirty and it's okay. I hate folding clothes on the bed. I just, it's again, it's like the couch where it falls into a bad habit. If I have it on the bed, I will probably just leave it on the bed. I will forget about it because it's not in front of my face and it will just then, and when I go to bed at night, I'll be like, I don't want to deal with it now. And I'll just put it back in the basket and it would be a cycle. This is, is here in front of me. When the kids come home from school, they will take care of their clothes and then it's done and it's, it's completely done, put away, all of that. So the thing to remember is to do things that work for you. It doesn't matter what anybody else says about how you do a chore or take care of your home. The point is that it needs to be done. The laundry needs to be done. I need to send my kids to school in clean clothes. That's the goal. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter where. And if you are someone that is actually bothered by this, then just keep it to yourself. We all have enough expectations of ourselves and what we require of ourselves. We don't need other people adding to it. And I've had a lot of comments of people saying like, oh, I can't believe you do that. That's so horrible. It's okay. It's all right. I'm just, I'm cleaning my clothes. I'm sending my kids to school in clean clothes. That's all that matters. Okay, let's get into these tips. Number one, do a load of laundry every day or every other day. Consistency is what makes a difference for us. So I used to do a load of laundry every single day. And what I mean by that is wash, dry, fold, and put away that load of laundry every day. When we do that, it takes, it takes like five minutes to do one load of laundry, especially if you have children, which if you're doing a load of laundry every day, likely you have children. And so they can put away their own clothes. They can fold and put away their own stuff. All you have to do is wash it, dry it, sort it, fold your own, fold whatever you want to fold, the towels, whatever you have, and put that away, have the kids deal with theirs, and it's done, minutes. I used to do a load of laundry every single day, but now that we only have three kids at home, it's more like every, every other day. So um, I'll often do a couple loads on Saturdays to catch up, whether that's towels or bedding or whatever, and that's, that's it. Think of it as groceries. Like when we go and we get groceries, we have frozen stuff in, in our grocery bags. We bring them home and we put them away right away because we don't want it to spoil. Same with laundry. We pull it out of the dryer. We deal with it right away because we don't want it to spoil. We don't want it to wrinkle. We don't want it to just sit there and get all, you know how the shirts look if you leave them crumpled up in a laundry basket for days. They just, they don't, they don't look great. Number two, don't sort your laundry. Four years, I used the washing machine as a laundry hamper. The kids would change, take a shower, whatever. They'd bring their clothes out and put it right in the washing machine. And when it was full, we'd wash a load of clothes. That's my preferred way. The kids have asked for laundry hampers now. So there's a laundry hamper in each room. It's not my favorite. It works for the older kids. Paul is nine and he would do better if we washed more frequently, 
um, just because he doesn't enjoy the folding and putting away process. So if there's only, you know, six items to fold and put away, he would do that much easier than the 10 to 15 items or 20 items, whatever he has at the end of the week when he decides to do his laundry. So the point of this was not to sort throw it all in together. The only things that I like to keep separate are the towels. Um, and then Brian has some dress shirts that he wears for work that he washes separately. But everything, like we don't get white. I know you saw white. They do have white uniforms for their Taekwondo stuff. Those are, those are washed separately after their class. But generally, I don't stress about specialty items or colors or anything. I just throw everything in together, wash it all at once and get it over with. Number three, limit how many clothing items you have per person. We have about a week's worth of clothes each and that's it. Before minimalism, we had two to three weeks worth of clothes and then the, it just has more piles. So when we have it as just a smaller amount, we do it more frequently. It just streamlines it. Number four, have clothes that can be mixed and matched easily. I'm not really a fashion person. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm very basic and I like a lot of solids. So everything that we have can be worn with each other, like pretty much jeans and shirts and they can be mixed and matched. I avoid outfits where you have to have a specific shirt for a specific pants for, or a specific skirt or, whatever, everything that we own can be mixed and matched. And that's for all the kids, all the adults. It makes life easier. Number five, wear clothing items more than once. <laughs> I talk to the kids about this. You don't need to wash your pants every single day unless they get dirty. If you, you can find, you can find various YouTube videos on like never wash your jeans. And I think it's Levi the the creator of Levi that never washes his jeans. They don't get dirty just from wearing them. We can wear them quite a bit before they're dirty. I I can I tend to get dirty. I go outside, I work in the garden, I like I do stuff and I need to wash my jeans on a regular basis. But we do wear them more than once, more than twice, more than three times often. Sometimes I'll just go for a whole week wearing the same pair of pants and then I'll wash them at the end of the week. Uh, same with pajamas. Pajamas don't need to be washed that frequently, especially if you shower at night, you put them on, you're clean. Unless you're sweating or, you know, there's a reason that those need to be washed it's, it's just fine to wear them more than once. And shirts often can be more and more, more than once. For myself, I like to just wear the same shirt two days in a row. Mostly it's just family that sees me because I'm home and I don't get out a lot. I like to wear them two days in a row because I try to avoid having a pile of half-worn clothes. Like, well, they're not really dirty, but they're not exactly clean. I, I, I'd rather just wear it two days in a row and then throw it in the in the laundry number six only fold what you have to i my friend Teresa sent me a picture sent me this picture after she was watching me on a video folding my kitchen towels and she was like rachel you don't have to fold your kitchen towels um and it's true unless you're someone that likes opening the drawer and seeing folded towels and washcloths there's actually no need to fold towels and washcloths like like the small things. And if you have the space to do it, to just throw them in the drawer, feel free to throw them in the drawer. My kids, uh, my boys particularly, don't fold things. Uh, they don't fold their socks and underwear. They just, they have a drawer for socks and they have a drawer for underwear. They pile them up, they put them in there, it's done. My daughter-in-law does this with her two little ones. And this means that the toddlers can help do the laundry. They can help put things away because it doesn't matter if they stay folded or not. They're not folded. <laughs> so they can just grab like, here's the pajama pile. I'll put it in my pajama drawer. Here's my shirt pile. I'll put it in my shirt drawer. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's folded. So fold only what you have to. If you only have one set of sheets, then you take the sheets off the bed, you wash all the bedding and you put them right back on the bed. You don't have to fold the sheets. So there's lots of things that we don't have to fold if we don't need to. Do we need to fold our shirts and our pants? Probably because they get wrinkled if we don't. But if they're like sweats and Titus wears pretty much just lounge wear, 
those don't wrinkle, so it doesn't really matter how they're folded. The uh, t-shirts are gonna show wrinkles more, at least mine do. I don't know, the boys, it doesn't seem to, so we're good there. <laughs> Number seven, sheets and towels. And like I said, if you only have one set of sheets, then you just wash, wash it, dry it, and put it back on the bed, and you don't have to fold it. The towels, we have one per person. They're color-coded so everybody knows who their towels, which towel is theirs. And then we wash towels at the end of the week. So we use the same towel all week long. It's dry in Montana. The towels dry out. We, you know, dry off our body and then they hang up and they, they get dry. So they're not damp the next day when we use them. And I can see washing more often if you live in a more humid climate. Um, or if it bothers you, you know, you do you. <laughs> For us, it's fine. We do have some extras all total. So there's five people in the house. We have nine towels about and I wash those once a week. We don't always go through the extra towels in the shelf. They're there if we have visitors or if, you know, we need an extra towel for something. As far as sheets go, Saturdays I'm consistent with watching, washing the towels, but I'm not consistent with washing the sheets. I'm not consistent at all. I tend to do it when I feel like it, when I remember it, when I think about it, which is not a great method. And I realize that, but you know, we always have to give ourselves some, you know, cut ourselves some slack because, you know, I was almost 40, almost 40 before I actually got my house to a state that I felt like I can manage this. Like this is like, I'm, I'm okay. And I can stay on top of the, the needs of the house. So, you know, if I have one thing two things, a couple of things that, that I'm not very consistent with and I'm not very good at, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I am still way better off than I was 10 to 15 years ago. Number seven, buy identical socks. So here we have, here's my socks. Here's Titus's socks. Brian's look different. Paul's are stripy. He doesn't care if they match color wise. And then we don't have to pair socks. We just all like, this is it. Titus will just throw this in his drawer and pick out socks. Like he just needs two socks every day. So it doesn't matter which ones he gets. They're all the same. That has made life easier. Naomi likes her pairs and she likes to fold them. And that's just fine. The boys, the boys don't. They, that would just not get done. So this makes our life easier. Number nine, don't get specialty care items. That's, that's it. Everything that we own can be thrown in the washer and thrown in the dryer. And if it doesn't come out right, then it just doesn't belong in our home. <laughs> it does mean that I need to pay attention when I'm shopping, that I need to make sure that I purchase things that are not like hand wash only or, or gentle cycle or hang dry. I have lost a couple of sweaters and a pair of nice dress slacks uh, because I did not pay attention to the tag. But overall, this makes my life easier. Because I don't enjoy doing the laundry, I want to spend as little time as possible actually doing it. I want to streamline it and make, make it as easy as it can be. And one of the ways is to not have specialty care items and not have whites. And that way everything can just get washed together, dried together and put away together and it's done. For laundry soap, I have been using Drops now for a couple of years. I like it. Uh, for years I used, for years before that, I used the Earth Breeze laundry sheets, which did fine. I like Drops a little bit better. I am not someone that's picky about my cleaners and my detergents. We use unscented, so that doesn't matter. Like how they smell doesn't matter. And I honestly can't tell you like when things look dirty or look clean, I can tell if they still smell bad. So none of the clothes smell bad. So I think Drops is doing quite well for us. I like that it's subscription. I like that, like I don't have to think about it. I don't have to pick up stuff from the store. I like that it's the little pods. 
And I like that it comes in a cardboard box that I can just throw away and it's not, there's not a big messy bucket thing of plastic. It's, uh, I like that. Regularly, I will use white vinegar in the fabric softener compartment and a drop or two of lemon essential oil. I think that helps the washing machine stay smelling fresh. I don't notice it on the clothes. I just notice it on the washing machine. And that's, that's my tips. That's, that's what I have for you. If you want a good idea of what the laundry was like in our home before minimalism, our family created this silly skit to demonstrate that. And you can watch that right here.